Anna Calvi is an English singer-songwriter, musician, who I don't know much about, but I have jumped on her album here because it looked pretty interesting, and it turned out that it was quite cool. The album is called Hunter, it is very post-punky, dark, and it's got a bit of an art rock twang to it too. Anna has quite a, a musky voice, but it also can hit into a really nice, angelic sounding upper register at times. And the album overall is actually really good. I mean, there are some moments that feel pretty light. It's like a lighter version of something like Chelsea Wolf would make. And I think I prefer those moments over the darker gothic moments, actually. The opening track, As a Man, has a fantastic melody to it. There's this really fantastic um, whistling in the background that goes... <whistles> that just like gets stuck in my head like the whole way through this album, whenever I'm listening to it. Just a little bit lingers in the back of my mind every time I finish. And it's got quite a stompy groove to it, but I think the track overall is incredibly catchy. And I think that Anna does a great job of these kind of like more... Um, pristine versions of the art rock type stuff that she can can make on this album. Like I said, it does get darker at points and those darker moments don't feel as captivating to me. Like the second track, immediately it feels a bit more of like a ghoulish type vibe and it just it just dips in quality, I think, to be honest. I just really like it when Anna incorporates more melodies to her vocals, like in tracks like Don't Beat the Girl Out of My Boy. Definitely some really interesting lyrical themes on the track um, Don't Beat the Girl Out of My Boy. I definitely think Anna has a good knack of writing some interesting and intriguing lyrics. Certainly adds to the vibe of the album too, for sure. The bass on tracks like Alpha really drive the songs and give it a nice tasteful sound and that's what I mean like when it goes into the more like gothic type stuff it feels pretty standard and it sounds very familiar but then when more instrumentation gets incorporated more melodies get incorporated it just makes the album sound much better to me it must just be a preference on my part but it's just like when you know bands like Savages have completely killed it with the post-punk and gothic sound that when you hear someone else do it sometimes just sounds a bit like yeah, it's fine, but I've heard it done better. The song Indies or Paradise is a track that I just can't find myself liking. I just think it goes on a bit too long. The chorus comes in and it just like drags on and it gets repeated quite a bit and I'm just not really all that bothered with what Anna is doing with her vocals here. But, you know, throughout the rest of the album there aren't many issues like that in my opinion. Like I said though, when the bass comes through in a really prominent way on tracks like Wish, it just sounds so good and I just really find it really like quite addictive to listen to and it just it's just a shame that it doesn't carry on throughout the whole album because straight after this we get a pretty typical ballad type track which is really lovely but it's just kind of like something that I would have just liked to have heard more of on this particular album. But overall it's really solid, it's a really good album man. Check this out, Hunter by Anna Calvi is something you should absolutely check out because I think it's going to get overlooked and probably not get all that much praise but I think it certainly deserves um, a lot of praise. I'm going to go 7.5, really like this album, could see myself returning to it too and I'll definitely be checking out more of her stuff in the future. So yeah, check this out, you might love it more than me, uh, let me know if you have listened to it and your thoughts, subscribe, have a good day, subscribe and then have a good day, yeah, cool.